After a string of fires in Albuquerque's Bosque over the last month and a half, officials are now considering restrictions through the summer. This comes amid a bleak outlook for the Rio Grande flow. News 13 Stephanie Chavez is live near Tingley Beach with the story. Now, if fire danger doesn't subside, areas like this one could be closed soon. The Rio Grande may look promising now, with water levels higher than they've been in months. But with an early runoff, it won't look like this for long. Start to see the river significantly dry this year, unfortunately. Mike Hammond with the Middle Rio Grande Conservancy District says this could be one of the driest summers we've seen since the early 80s. Unless, of course, Mother Nature comes through and gives us an early monsoon. Firefighters have already put out five fires along the Bosque between Albuquerque and Los Lunas in the past month and a half. And just today, Corrales Fire Department responded to a campfire burning on their side of the Bosque. We got reports from a citizen that was uh, walking in the Bosque. They noticed the uh, evidence of a campfire and our, our brush crew went out and uh, definitely found a, a hot campfire in our Bosque. That's why the Middle Rio Grande Conservancy District is working with public safety officials to determine if they should implement restrictions or even a full closure of the Bosque. Too soon to know. I think we'll just continue coordinating with the experts uh, in each of the counties and if uh, if people are well behaved and, and, and obey the fire restrictions, I think we'll be fine. On top of the high fire danger, Hammond says if the drought continues, there will be more consequences. Our farmers are going to be potentially suffering if we don't get a, a monsoon period of any significance. And, um, and they uh, will be suffering significant crop loss this year, which we haven't seen in a long time. Now, Hammond says the last time they closed the Bosque entirely was back in 2016. He expects this extreme fire danger to last at least through July 4th. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Stephanie. Now, the Mid-Rio Grande Conservancy District says the last time the river dried up in Albuquerque was in the 80s.